Welcome to video 23 on flight sim navigation, which is again about the progress of the radios and autopilot project. Um, a second prototype has been cut, laser cut out of again a wooden panel, uh, just because I don't have any plexiglass yet. And I first would like to figure out everything that I need to know before I make the definitive version. What has been changed is the width of the vertical bezel. It's now 20 millimeters and that gives enough room for a sturdy beam on the backside on which these panels can be screwed on. And then the text has been made smaller and also the same size on all the panels. Uh, and that looks better. Yeah, the text does not look quite good here on this uh, wood because the letters are um, engraved only on the uh, outline and in the definitive version it will be etched away the paint will be etched away and it will be a complete white text on the on the dark uh, surface i hope that will look better uh, on the positive note the parts came in so i do now have my arduino mega and these uh, displays seven segment displays eight in a row with a chip and they look like this on the back side and they are mounted simply on some additional wooden uh, blocks that were glued onto the panel and uh, well at the front it looks like this right now i have already started configuring the mobi flight software uh, and uh, the encoders also came in so i have this working now which we will see in a video in a second uh, there was one little setback because the uh, encoders were not of the type with a thread and a nut so i cannot panel mount these uh, I just have to wait until the uh, next order of the proper encoders comes in. Uh, that is a little delay, but okay, there's enough work to do in the meantime configuring the software. Uh, let's have a look these encoders, how they work together with the uh, displays and the flight sim. All right, so here we are in uh, FSX with a 737 autopilot panel. And also over here we have our new display as a prototype. And yeah, it's all loose wires uh, to the two encoders, but that's of course because we are just testing. And the Mobi Flight software has been configured, and there will be a separate video about it. So, this is only to show uh, proof of concept and that it works. So, I can now rotate the heading encoder, and we can see over here that it is uh, changing, and also over here on the screen, the heading is changing, and also the other way around if I change the course on screen then here on the display it also changes and we also have the vertical speed no sorry the airspeed uh, implemented already here on this encoder so if i change that then over here we can see the airspeed changing and here on the screen we also see the airspeed changing well so uh, I'm, I'm happy and now the whole uh, effort will be to mount the panels. Uh, I'm first going to stick to my wooden panels because I do not have the plexiglass yet. And then I can build it completely and see it working and then in future change that to plexiglass. Uh, so well the next video probably will be about the software, the Mobiflight configuration that is.